Hi, so just a quick video about circular polarizers. Now the benefits from using one of these is on um, really bright days where the sky is all blown out. It makes the sky a lot darker so it makes a deeper a deeper blue and it also makes the clouds whiter as well. You can also use it on shiny surfaces. It'll take the glare from indoor lights off of shiny surfaces. It cuts them down by 80 to 85 percent. You can also use it on water surfaces like rivers. If it's a sunny day and you're trying to um, take pictures of the river or the fish and there's a glare and you can't see the fish properly you just give it a little turn until it makes the water appear clear through your lens another thing it does I'll see if I can show you on the camera it's got the menu screen up here so if you tilt it you can see the screen going black it's better when you do it on this surface so you can see the top LCD screen here you just give it a turn and it blacks it out so if you've already got one of these just give it a go on your PC monitor now and it'll see it turns it totally black and also before fitting a polarizer to your camera it's always good to have an air blower or a soft brush just give it a, a quick blow on each side and then you same on your lens give that a quick blow and then it just screws basically onto the front of your camera like so there I think they look cool on front of the cameras as well it looks really dark and gives it quite a cool effect to your lens so when you've got it fitted to adjust the glare or to remove the glare or darken the skies you just adjust it whichever way you want so the further around you go the darker the skies will be we'll see if you can see through the front of the camera see if I can show you anywhere how it works Yeah, you can't really see much there. But yeah, that's your polarizing filter. They're not cheap. I mean, this one's that I've got on here is a 52 millimeter, which is for my 50 millimeter lens. And this one, this one's a higher. You can get cheaper ones but I prefer higher filters myself so this one was I think £30 just for a 52mm so if you if you've got a a wide angle lens like this this one's just um on here it's just a standard uh, UV filter but comparing the size of both the glass 
on there. I think you were talking, if I was to buy one from a wide angle lens, I think the cost would be around 60 or even more, 60 pounds or more. So if you're looking for a circular polarizer, you really want to choose the lens that you're going to use the most so you're not wasting your money because you don't really need more than one because they are quite expensive so choose the lens that you think you're going to use the polarizer most on and then buy it for them because I certainly won't fork out for one with a glass this size So yeah, that's your circular polarizing filter.